Okay, welcome back to another episode of our series. Today we are going to start with financial accounting. The aim for this series is to give you more education on what you are doing in your various institutions. Or maybe if you have a desire to learn the new courses on your own, this platform is here to help you out. Okay? So today we are going to look at financial accounting, the introductory part of it. Okay? So we are moving on to the the lesson itself. Okay, so when you say financial accounting, you know people invest their money to start a business or they invest in other companies, okay? So how do they know that the money that they've invested, they are making improvement upon it or they are performing well in the investment that they've made? Is it when they see more customers coming to their business? Or is it when employees come to work on time? So these are some of the things that come to mind when the person wants to know whether the investment that he has made is becoming profitable or not. Okay? And the person will be able to know when there is a system in place or when there is an accounting system in place that will help him to get some information as to whether the investment that he has made he is making profit or of it or he is making losses on the investment okay so with the help of financial accounting the person is able to know all these things concerning his business so financial accounting has to do with providing information to users of or owners of businesses or users of accounting information okay so the financial accounting is to provide information to owners of businesses or to any other party interested in making decision okay so when you say financial accounting we are trying to look at the process of identifying analyzing measuring and communicating financial information of a business to its users for vital decision making okay so when we say financial accounting financial accounting has to do with identification of accounting information okay and when the information is being identified then we have to do some sort of analysis to see whether the information that we've obtained is of accounting nature or it is not of accounting nature or is it good for us to communicate to the owner of the business or any other party when we after analyzing then we have to measure okay we have to put a monetary term on the information that we've identified okay because accounting is really interested in measuring information that has to do with a monetary term. If the information cannot be quantified in terms of money, then we are not interested in that, okay? After measuring the information or the item that we've identified, then we have to communicate or we have to inform the owners or the users of the information that this is what we've obtained about your investment or this is how your business is what moving on in terms of profit or loss or in terms of performances okay so financial accounting has to do with a process of identifying analyzing measuring and communicating financial information of a business to its users for vital information um, decision making okay because the users are really interested in making economic decisions so with the help of financial accounting, they are able to obtain such information that will help them to make an informed decision. Okay, so as I said, how do we know that the investment that I've made are making profit or not? You cannot just say because customers are coming to the business, you are making profit. We have to get an, a, 
a system in place that will help you to obtain financial information. And this financial information will be obtained with the help of what? Financial accounting. Okay, so financial accounting helps to communicate financial information of a business to its users for vital decision making. Okay. Now that we've gone to know the meaning of financial accounting, let's move on to the next series or the next subtopic which has to do with the purpose of financial accounting. Why do we study financial accounting? Okay, so why do you think we should study financial accounting? The following are some of the reasons why we should study financial accounting. And the first one has to do with it provides information for management or other users in making business decisions. Okay, so as I said, owners invest their money in establishing businesses or invest in other companies. So with the help of financial accounting, they are able to obtain information regarding the investment that they've made. Okay, so the information that they've obtained, it will help them to make business decisions. Business decision that you can think of here is to about making investments, okay? Making or providing finances to these businesses or the company that they've invested, whether they should keep on providing finances to them or they should withdraw their investment, okay? So the business decision that you can think of here has to do with to either invest more invest more or reduce their investment okay reduce it and the next one that you can also think of whether they should keep on providing finances okay provide money to these biz businesses okay whether they should keep on or they should stop providing finances to these businesses and when it comes to the management you know management they've been entrusted with the resources of the company, the owners of the business, they've entrusted the resources into their hands. So financial accounting will help them to obtain information to know whether they are making a good use of the resources. Okay. So the management aspect will be assessing the performance of the business. Okay. The, it will help them to assess the performance of the business. The performance of the business. Okay they will be assessing the performance of the business because whenever they assess the performance of the business, they will be able to know whether the resources that it has been entrusted to them, they are making good use of it or they are not making good use of it. So this is the first explanation that you can get under the, the first point why we should study financial accounting, okay? So the second point has to do with it helps business in satisfying regulatory requirements. You know, accounting or businesses operate in different jurisdictions or it operates in environments where there are rules and regulations, okay? And one of the rules has to do with taxation. So the government of the day will make sure they lay down procedure or the rules regarding, regarding to keeping records are being kept well or they are being followed so that at the end of the day the information that will be disclosed by these businesses will be the actual or the, will be the true reflection of what is supposed to represent okay so with the help of financial accounting businesses are able to meet the regulatory requirements concerning keeping of records how to report their financial transactions, okay? Because accounting has to do with a set of rules that helps accountants in preparation of what final accounts, okay? It helps accountant to prepare or present the financial information of the business to the government or to any other agencies that are interested or that are mandated to make sure things are done in the rightful way, okay? So with the help of accounting, we are able to satisfy regulatory requirements like rules concerning taxation, okay, because the government is only the government is interested in 
getting taxes from these companies okay so for them to get the actual tax they have to make sure the rules laid down concerning that tax are being followed and with the help of accounting we are able to satisfy that regulatory okay so we can talk of IS and then that of I IFRS so these are some of the accounting rules that helps accountants in satisfying regulatory requirements and then national rules okay every nation has its own accounting rules even though nowadays we are trying to move on to um, a very uniform accounting system which try to harmonize the whole world in the accounting system okay but apart from the this IES and the IFRS that we have every national or every nation has its own accounting rules okay so we can talk of the national rules okay we can talk of the national rules over here so with the help of accounting we're able to meet the great requirements as to how business is supposed to keep their financial records okay so this is the explanation that you can also get under this point and the third one has to do with it helps management stewardship so as i said earlier on it helps management to know whether okay they are making good use of the resources that it has been entrusted to them okay and when it comes to that they have to render an accountability and in rendering accountability the owners of the business will be assessing the stewardship of the of the management by looking at the performance of the business and that of the the financial position of the business okay so the owners will be assessing the performance they too will be assessing the performance of the business sorry performance performance of the business and that of the financial position of the business okay so the financial position of the business they'll be looking at this component to know whether management are making good use of the resources that it has been entrusted to them okay so management they've been entrusted with the resources to manage it effectively so that the returns on this on this investment will be huge for the owners and the owners will be assessing the stewardship of the management by looking at the performance of the business and then that of the financial position of the business okay so when the performance of the business is high it means management are uh, making good use of the resources entrusted to them and vice versa but the owners will be able to do that when we have an accounting system financial accounting system that will help them to obtain financial information to assess the stewardship of the business okay so the last but not the least point here that i'm going to talk about it is the it helps management stewardship okay it brings about accountability on part of the management to the owners of the business okay so this is where i will end the presentation on the meaning of financial accounting and that of the purpose of financial accounting or why we study financial accounting okay so we said financial accounting has to do with communicating financial information to users for vital decision making and when it comes to the purpose we talked of providing information for management in making business decision and it helps business in satisfying regulatory requirements and the last one will be considered but not the least it helps management still worship okay so i will see you in the subsequent series or in the subsequent subtopic we are going to consider what is meant by book bookkeeping okay so see you then